Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to just be talking about light swans in this video. Well, the light swan craze that is going on right now. Honestly, I've doled so many light swans already and it's just unbelievable. I, I must have had seven in a row. You, if you've seen the uh, my video for the Naturu XJ, I recommend you check it out. It, it was just a fun deck, pretty fun to be honest. But honestly, I must I must face so many lights on decks in a row. It just did my head in. I honestly, I'm I'm saying this now. I prefer e dragons over light swans. I've never liked light swans since they were out. I just don't like the way they are. They're just the easiest deck anyone could play them. It's just too easy to play, and they got such a great boss monster, which ain't even that hard to summon him if you think about it. Now, if you watch Asian Eyes White Dragon's uh, new Light Swan deck profile, the Gareth and the Maid, I call her Maiden, Minerva Maiden, whatever, Maiden combo is insane. He milled so many cards and drew a lot of cards at the exact same time. Like, he got into his JD easy enough, and of course, he runs Monster Reincarnation, so obviously, discards your Light Swans that you don't want, add JD, summon him, GG. He is pretty much GG when they summon JD. But the the light swarms are just the craze right now. Everyone's playing light swarms thanks to the new support, which I feel other decks should have got more, way more support than light swarms in my opinion. But honestly, there are some cards that stop light swarm craze at the moment. I recommend. I'm not even joking. I, I recommend you main some of the uh, main big burn. Just because it destroys Light Swan. Simple. If you don't know what this card is, I think this is a pretty old card. You can only activate this card when your opponent activates a card that targets a monster in the graveyard. Like a luminous effect. Remove from play all monsters in both players' graveyard. Yep, so it pretty much gets rid of the Light Swan problem. The only problem is that it hurts your graveyards as well. Which I suppose that is fair. I mean, if you're removing all your monsters in your opponents, they should, it should remove all yours as well to make it balanced. So, I recommend if you could get this first, in your hand first turn, you set it and hope they don't have a Lumina. Uh, not a Lumina, sorry. Uh, oh, I don't even know. Uh, Lila, Lila, that's it. That, that would, uh, you know, this, this card would just hurt his deck so much. Of course you can run uh, Darks and you run Necro Gardener which is so good at free for Light Swans. And you could run BLS if you want to but I just think many people just run JD because it's better than BLS. BLS is good if you summon him after JD but honestly JD just pay a thousand, destroy everything. It's insane. Such a good boss monster for the easiest deck. <laughs> the Sax ones, that's why I call them Sax one. The other card you could play is being com comedian, but it's all about it's all about chance really. It's like the arcanas, you just toss a coin, you call it right, and you, all your players are removed from play. If you call it wrong, you send a number of cards in your opponent's graveyard from your deck. To your graveyard basically so you call it wrong it's gonna hurt which is uh, that's why I prefer big burn but I thought I'd just make this video just to warn people about the light swarm craze that is going on right now of course if you run light swarms then you know you've got no worries as if you're running light swarms I just watch out for big burn because people might be maining them I don't know how long the craze will go on for I'll probably just go on for the weekend I suppose and then it will start settling down. But I just thought I'll show you, uh, show you this card just to stop the craze. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think, and let me know what other cards you reckon that can counter light swans hurt them pretty badly. And thanks for watching, and have a good day.